Hello everyone and welcome to the Saturday, May 16th, 2020 edition of the Breezy Saturday Family Family Play Edition Marathon. Hello. I just have guests to it. <laughs> and I have three guests with me this time. We still have, we have Michelle Batten, we also have Tenacious Lee, and we also have a brand new guest with us. Well, not necessarily brand new because I had him in some of my older videos on my older channel back in the day. But he's a returning person, and it's Rob Strickland. Good. You may know him better as the CEO, as the CEO of some company called the Digital Nexus. Yeah. Which is a professional management consulting firm. So um, I know Batten's ready because he's going to give some stupid answers soon. I'm ready. All right. <laughs> And all I can say, Rob, is when Batten gives some stupid answers in Fast Money, you better duck and take cover. Right. Yeah. So, Rob, you made the best fan win. Alright. Well, I consider you all equal. Well, that's good. And I just finished watching Teachers and Pets, but only the feature film because you still don't have Disney Plus. Oh, I gotcha. So yeah, I've got Batten on Discord, and I've got Lee and Rob on Messenger. But I can tell you that the movie is actually pretty interesting, that they actually have to tackle on it, uh, animal-human hybrids. Yeah. And from what I can gather is that uh, the guys who created Teachers for Cat Hour were still friends with Kelsey Grammer. And of course, at the time when Kelsey Grammer did do a voice in Teacher's Pet, he was still starring as Frasier Crane on Frasier. Yeah, because I can imagine him recording his lies as Dr. Ivan directly from his radio booth in Seattle. And not only uh, am I a fan of Frasier, but Rob here is a fan of the show Frasier, too. Oh, yeah. And he's the same guy who introduced me to the Will Your Own Catchphrase. And maybe I hear the people to call them tossed eggs and scrambled eggs. They're calling again. Might as well. Got any great coupon? I have honey mustard. <laughs> I don't mean to cut you off. That sounds good. That's okay, Robin. Yeah, we're still on the air. All right. Yeah, well, we're going to be on the air for a while, buddy. Whoa. As for how many games of Family Feud we're doing, we're doing four. Whoa. That's why it's so called the Breezy your, Saturday Family so Feud play. PlayStation Marathon. Whoa. So there's plenty of time for you to indulge. In the Viagra from these stupid asses. <laughs> <laughs> On the subject of that, Ben has admitted that she's taken Viagra before. <laughs> 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 oh, Lord help us. We're 
going to hell. Oh, oh yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Masterpiece collection, right? Yeah, I have that copy. The Masterpiece collection, that is. I'll bet there's something you didn't know. What? Early copies of that tape had the 1989 Walt Disney Classics logo. I've actually heard of that. I'm not yeah. lying. It, it, it so, does exist. So, so, if I send you that link on YouTube, it's going to give you the same effect as if you did get the Viagra if you want it. Oh. <laughs> and I have a hunch I have a hunch that Louis Anderson is about to say those magic words in a second I'll tell you in just a second as soon as Louis says this <laughs> he just comes out of nowhere and says good answer well, anyways, Rob, what was I mentioning yeah. about Pocahontas? Early copies of that tape opened with the 1989 Walt Disney Classics logo. I knew about that. I actually saw one of your more videos about that. Oh, okay, so you are familiar with what I'm talking about. Yes. And because of recent events, I was lucky that I was actually lucky that I actually got that copy from Auburn. Yeah, because Auburn had that copy and I was like, Hey, we got Bingo. What's up? Hey, we got Marty Bingo with us. What's up? Hey, Marty. Hey, what's up? On a subject, what's Marty, up? on Facebook Messenger, I have Lee, but I also have a different guest with us, too. How do you? He's been one of my biggest fans for the past uh, 10 plus years. His name is Rob Strickland. What's up? So, so, so Marty, we'd like to introduce to our audience if you ended up on the side of the road park. Sure, we'll go with that. <laughs> Anyways, Rob, say hi to Marty. Hi, Marty. How are you? What's up? What's up? How are you doing? I'm doing great, man. I'm excited to be on the Arcade of Fun. Nice to have you. Appreciate it, brother. Yep. Marty, you So I've got Batten, I've got Bingo, I've got Rob, and I've got Lee. So you're good. You're good. Yeah. So the script is signed, sealed, and delivered. There's no waiting for a month. <laughs> what happened? Louis said, good answer. Good answer. <laughs> he just and comes Rob, out of nowhere and saying, good answer. I got Louis Anderson to sign one of my DVDs. No way. Really? Yeah. He, he, he was at a charity event that my mom uh, ran, and he, she personally 
you can find a hand to serve as the entertainer during the evening reception. And it, it was very kind to uh, to have him sign my copy of Ferris Bueller. Bueller? Yes. Bueller? 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 Well, even though he only had a bit. Fry? 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 Mr. Rooney is out to get you! <laughs> Oh yeah, hey Marty. Spy man. Or Marty, or if you're still there. Hey, uh, Bat. Yes, sir. Is uh, Marty still there? Mr. Marty. Oh, he's on death. He's on death. He's where? Death. Oh, okay. Gotcha. Yeah. All right. He's just been, he's just picking up a fresh supply of Viagra. Oh my! <laughs> Help me back! Oh, no. <laughs> By the way, I'm gonna feel silly asking this question, but I'm gonna ask it anyway. Hey, Rob. What? You know what Viagra does to you, right? Now he just pops. 
Mr. Hunter. Oh, we got 412 camera up with us now. Oh, you can't speak no language. That's okay. No. I allow language I allow language on this show. Oh, oh, this is a show where you're welcome. Yep. On Breezy Saturday, Fail of You PlayStation Marathon, this is where it's just like when we do Jackbox games, you guys can be as dirty as you want. Whoa! As long as it ain't racial. So you right. That when you can't hear, then be cussing. Yeah, you can you can cuss, but I must ask this. No racism, no racial slurs of any kind, and right. no politics unless you're slamming Donald Trump. Right. But I'm more than happy to do so. If I were to uh, uh, cuss on the spectacular, I would say something like uh, chocolate flops, swanky. Let me tell you, let me tell you, buddy boy, it's going to be a long fucking night. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, Rob, during Fail Game Marathon, I do allow custom. It's fine. Okay. Alright. So, nobody's going to get penalized. You'll only get penalized if I hear any racial slurs or racism of any kind. Okay. Yeah, and you know what? We'll have to do a Kyle, we'll have to do a Kyle Larson on you, which... But I haven't had I haven't had that problem, thankfully, so I'm not worried about it now. Okay, so and furthermore, I have a lot of friends in the in, in various whatever we groups. So I don't want to cut you off. I'll be back in a few. Thank you for telling me about that, Aubrey. Oh, no problem, Rob. No problem. Just doing my job. All right, you're doing a hell of a job. No but. Here's my number one rule. Whenever I have you guys here, the number one rule is have fun. That's catch. Yep, have fun. Yeah, have fun. Because after all, this is the arcade of fun. That's right. This is the arcade of fun. Led by yours truly, Aubrey Scott. Yes. This is the one show that is not subject to FCC rules. Exactly. No, it does not, because I already have my channel marked as not for kids. Right, we are not a kids show. <clears throat> and in lieu of further, further YouTube comments on kids' videos that are marked as for kids to the point where you're not allowed to have a freedom of speech, I can just, I can just post comments as if I'm still... I, I don't mean to cut you off to have a point. I don't mean to interrupt you, but... Um, is this show uh, rated R or rated PG-13? R. Whoa! R. Oh. You're like, oh. Oh. More like TVMA. TVMA. Uh, hey, hey. Good thing I got out here. Alright. So, so please note that, uh, yeah, if it's TVMA, your discretion is heavily advised. Oh, yeah. And in any case, now back, you can still see my screen, right? Oh, yeah, hang on. It's time oh, for yeah. Fast Money. I'm ready. Hey, uh, I'm ready. Yes, Rob? I'm going to turn on my video. Okay, you can turn your video on. Now, let's see. Yep, Batten's going first. And now, I need a volunteer to go second. <clears throat> Anybody can. Okay, I'll volunteer to go second. Lee, you got it. Alright, oh, and also, Rob, when we get to the yeah. dumb <clears throat> when we get to the dumb answer question, get ready to laugh your butt off. <clears throat> Anyways, Lee, get on deck. Batten, get ready. Time is ready. And we're going to see those fast money questions in just a moment. Here we go. All right. First on deck, Michelle Batten. I'm ready. Are you ready like Freddy? Oh, yes. All right. Well, anyways, here we go. Question one. Name an appliance for the temperature. Oh, uh, air conditioner. Okay. I mean, I don't know if that would be a good one, but... Name something you buy that's strawberry for ice cream. Yes, indeed. Name what kind of 
pet that outnumbers me. Oh, God, a cat? I don't know. Of course. And that's question number three, right? Let's see. Name seven people that... Oranges. Okay, here comes the stupid answer question. <laughs> Let's see it. <laughs> oh, Tell me, like... how many times a day you get kissed? You know what? I don't know if he up there, but the 69 days. Oh, boy! <laughs> oh, God. If it's up there, I am. I, I'm going to piss my pants if that's up there. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you never know. You said air conditioner. Survey said three. Uh, it's there. Okay. okay. You said you buy ice cream that's strawberry flavored. You most certainly do. That got 41. I figured that'd be number one. Yeah. You you weren't sure when you said cats, but I can tell you that the survey said 40. Oh, yeah. You peel an orange. Yes, you do. And our survey said 37. Damn. This is it. How many times did you get kissed? You said 69 times a day, and the survey said four. <laughs> what? <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> Are you kidding me right now? Oh God! Hey man. Rob, that stupid answer made the survey. He said, the question was, how many times a day do you get kissed? And he said 69, which got four points. <laughs> All right. Oh, thank you. That's my 101 Dalmatians poster. Is it the original theatrical poster or is it a re-release? Re-release from 1991. Oh, it's obvious because it looks But yeah, Rob, that stupid answer made the survey. <laughs> Oh, oh God! No. You get kissed sixty nine times I a day. I got sixty nine reasons to be thankful for it. But in any case, Lee, yes, Benton got you one hundred twenty five points. Okay. You just need seventy five. And also, Rob, if you want to help Lee, you can. All right. Are we ready? Yes. Lee, name an appliance with a temperature control. Uh. That is temperature controlled, or that temperature can control. Name an appliance with a temperature control. I would say a freezer. Good, good. That's a good answer. Okay. Now I want you to name something you buy that's strawberry flavored. I would say yogurt. Very good. Question three. Name a kind of pet that outnumbers people. Uh, that would be a cat. Try again. That was already said. Okay, dog. There you go. Question four. Name something that people peel. P-E-E-L. Uh, how about skin? Yeah, that's true. Okay, and finally, tell me how many times a day you get kissed. Well... Well, fuck it. I'm going to say it. 666. 666. Okay. <laughs> Did they take that answer? I'm going to laugh my ass off. Oh, that's a duplicate. <laughs> You'll have to give me a different answer. That was our, that's a duplicate. I, I meant to say 666. I know, but the word six is what makes it a duplicate. <laughs> the, the, oh, yeah, yeah. I meant the number six. No, nah, that's still a duplicate. You have to give me a different answer besides six. Okay, um... Hey, how about... Yeah. Uh... Try, uh... 75. That's all I can think of. 75? Yeah, I'll, yeah, I'll, I'll do 92. Actually, all right. 92. I'm, yeah, I can do 10. I can do 10. 75, 10. All right, we'll put both in. <clears throat> Saying that 666 was taken, I got bit. I got dips. An appliance with a temperature control. You said freezer refrigerator, which got 11. There. 
So you buy that strawberry flavored. Ice cream was number one. You said yogurt. Which got three only. Hmm. I thought it would be higher than that. <clears throat> you said dogs outnumber people. Yes, they do. And the survey said on that one, 47! Wow. People appeal. Did 14 people say skin for $10,000? Four only, so we have to get 10 points. <clears throat> did, did 10 people say our answers? Survey said... We got it! Yeah. I could have got it with the, with the 666 thing. Right, but when I put that in, they took that as a duplicate because 69 was part of, had 6 in it, so that's why I was considered a duplicate. Did we win $10,000? Oh, we won $10,000, Rob! <clears throat> <laughs> However, that's going to have to wrap it up for game one, but we're not finished with the marathon. We still have three more games to go. We're going to come right back for game number two right after this. Stay with us. And now, ladies and gentlemen, please stand by for these public service announcements about COVID-19. Hey, 